It's decision time for Astroport. Tomorrow is the final day that users can deposit LP tokens onto the Astroport platform to receive an allocation of the Astro governance token. What this means is that Astroport are basically trying to bootstrap liquidity, and they're doing this in a two-phased approach, which they're calling the lock drop. Phase one is almost like a vampire attack on TerraSwap. So users that are providing liquidity to TerraSwap, they're, they're basically providing their assets to TerraSwap into a liquidity pool, and again, liquidity provider tokens back. And then users can then deposit them LP tokens or them liquidity provider tokens onto the Astroport platform. And if they lock them up for a period between two weeks and a year, they'll get an allocation of the Astro governance token. Obviously, the longer they lock them up for, the higher the amount of Astro tokens they receive. And where this gets a little bit complex is that different pools have different allocations and some are more popular than others depending on the expected impermanent loss in that pool. So some, like the B Luna Luna, for example, you're not gonna get much of an impermanent loss there because they're basically the same assets. It's just Luna versus Stake Luna. Whereas something else like Mirror UST, you've got one kind of farm token and the other one's a UST stable coin. And that's gonna be a much higher impermanent loss expectation, especially over the period of the year. Because of that, it's less competitive. You get a higher allocation of Astro tokens for locking that up. Then next week, we go into phase two. And phase two is where Astroport are gonna generate liquidity for the Astro token itself. They're incentivizing users to provide liquidity in both Astro and UST tokens into an Astro UST liquidity pool on Astroport. Phase two will last a week, and then on the 28th of December, the decentralized exchange will go live. Users will be able to trade into these liquidity pools, much the same way as any other automated market maker. There's some big expectations within the Terra community about this. So let's dive in and take a look at how it all works in practice. So the first thing we're gonna need is a digital wallet and some funds to allocate. So I'm gonna be using the Terra Station wallet for Chrome. It's a little bit like Metamask. Let's add this extension. Be very careful with phishing attacks when installing digital wallets. There's a lot of bad people about. Let's go ahead and start this up for the first time. I'm gonna, in, I'm gonna set up a new wallet. This wallet doesn't hold any funds yet, so I'm gonna buy some on a centralized exchange and send them to this wallet address. Okay, so we've got just over $60 of UST in our wallet. If we go to terra.doyourownresearch, D-Y-O-R.F-I, forward slash astro hyphen lockup, got this uh, website here which someone's created they've done a really nice job of laying out different rewards for the different liquidity pools and these are fluctuating all the time here you can see one of the most popular pools is the B Luna Luna pool if you lock that for two weeks you're only getting 50 astro tokens for that liquidity position whereas one of the highest ones is the mirror UST pool because of the greater chance of impermanent loss which we spoke about and if we lock that for two weeks, we're getting 309 Astro tokens, so six times as much. If we lock those tokens for up to a year, we're getting over 1,200 tokens. And this really kind of begs the question, which way do you want to play it? Do you want to lock the Lunar tokens in where you're not going to get an impermanent loss, but you're not going to get as many to Astro tokens in return? It's safer uh, to some extent. Or do you want to dedicate capital to a really high risk pool like Mirror UST, get the max, lock them up for the full 52 week period and get the maximum amount of Astro tokens. If the Astro token trades at more than a dollar at some point in the next year, then it really doesn't matter what the liquidity pool is worth at the end of the 52 week period. If we suffer some impermanent loss, then we make that back on the Astro token itself. Obviously this is very speculative and no one really has any idea at the moment. It's really hard to gauge how much the Astro token itself will be worth. And all the kind of the yield on this will really depend on that. Because I'm only doing this with a very small amount of funds on a test account, I'm going to use the Mirror UST token. I'm going to lock that up for two weeks. So we need to go to TerraSwap now. And a lot of people are kind of assuming that Astroport is going to take over from TerraSwap as the leading decentralized exchange on the Terra ecosystem. Let's connect our wallet. And I want to change some UST to Luna. I'm going to change $30 worth 
that would mean that I can provide liquidity for $30 worth of UST and $30 worth of mirror. Still have $6 left to pay the transaction fees. Let's convert that transaction. And we swap $30 of our UST to the mirror token. Let's now provide liquidity. So here we're going to be providing UST and MER. So I'm going to be providing just under $30 of UST and just under $30 of mirror token. Let's provide that. Confirm that transaction. If we look at this transaction hash, we can see that we've got this MER UST liquidity provider token back into our account. So now if we go to Astroport, let's go to the Astro Drop is live. So this is lockdrop.astroport.fi. Connect our wallet. Confirm the terms and conditions. Let's zoom in a bit here. If we scroll down the page, we can see this MER UST liquidity provider token is lit up. We can lock MLP tokens. So I'm going to be locking the maximum amount here. I'm only going to be locking them for two weeks. Obviously, there is the option to go up to 52 weeks if I wanted more rewards. I'm only doing this for demonstration purposes, and I might do a follow-up video about how to claim the rewards afterwards. So two weeks is fine. Let's lock those up. Note these tokens are now locked into this DeFi protocol. I think there's a couple of day period where we can withdraw the tokens over the weekend and then they're locked as we go into phase two. Let's have a look at that. So if we zoom in here a bit, we see we've deposited tokens today. Tomorrow is the last day to do that. If you're doing this with any serious funds, I'd wait until tomorrow because the rates that you see on here might fluctuate, which becomes more important the more funds you're putting in. Then once we go into phase two, we get the option to lock our Astro and UST to the Astro UST liquidity pool, and we get a one-time reward in Astro tokens and ongoing fees for that. There's some really compelling tokenomics here, and I like the way they're trying to incentivize long-term liquidity providing. With a 52-week lockup, they're really giving the majority of the Astro tokens to people that are looking at the long-term future of the project. Obviously, this is experimental with DeFi, so extremely high risk. The other thing to bear in mind is that a lot of the allocation is going to liquidity providers over the next year, People that provide liquidity to the platform are going to get rewarded Astro tokens as well, and that might impact, impact the price. You can see here that the total lock drop tokens only account for 7.5% of the total market cap, and 49% is actually being distributed to the liquidity providers. That's over a very long period of time, and it's almost like a vested release to incentivize liquidity on the platform. But that slow release of tokens to liquidity providers might have an impact on the price of the token going forwards. And it's something where we might also see kind of automated yield farming platforms where they're using the compounding effects to automatically sell the governance tokens to get more stake to put into the pools and that kind of continuous cycle that we've seen on other chains. But if you're interested in gaining exposure to the Terra ecosystem, I think this is a really opportune way to do that. You've got that B Luna Luna pool, whereas Luna is the native token of Terra, and then B Luna is like a state Luna, similar to STE for on Lido, on Ethereum. And then you're getting the trading fees from that liquidity pool as well on top of that. And then you're getting this Astro token, which is going to be a yield on top of that. We just don't know how much it's going to be worth at this stage. So there's lots of layers to this yield farming strategy, if you can call it that. Bear in mind that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. But I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. Subscribe to the channel for updates. Check out my blog for more information on blockchain development and trading in the markets. And hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching.